Okay, let's get more on this with Hussam Zomlot, who is Palestinian ambassador to the United Kingdom. He joins us now live from London. Thank you for your time, sir. How would you assess the latest escalation, these dual strikes by Israel on Lebanon and the Gaza Strip? Could this lead to something more serious, do you think? Hello, Milen. Uh, this is the Israeli playbook for 75 years, that is, since its establishment, a playbook uh, that goes like this. Uh, uh, they provoke the Palestinian people into provoking them, so they retaliate. Israel has been provoking and provoking over the, over the months, the, the weeks, the days, in Jenin, in Nablus, in Hebron, in Gaza, they blockaded Gaza. And then, of course, the peak of that provocation, as Israel knows very well, is Al-Aqsa uh, 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 al-Sharif, al-Haram al-Sharif, uh, as uh, happened uh, the last uh, few nights during the holy month uh, uh, of Ramadan. And this playbook goes like this because Israel lives on violence. It lives on the oppression and subjugation of an entire nation. And the only resort they have to continue controlling such a nation that does not uh, accept uh, the Israeli control and hegemony and colonization, occupation, apartheid, and blockade, the only resort is violence. And there is another playbook here, Milene, if I may add, that of the West, Western governments. The playbook goes like this again for 75 years, which is wait for Palestinian reaction and then focus on the Palestinian reaction as well, the let, entry uh, point. Let me ask and so you, goes, let me and so ask goes you the international media. That. Let me ask you more about that, because we do often hear from Palestinians on the ground that they feel alone and uh, that no one in the international community cares as a diplomat based in London. What has your experience been? Well, something is very odd, uh, Milene. Very, very odd. I mean, things are so clear, blunt. Uh, Israel is in violation of every single provision of international law. Israel is in violation of the very basic principles of humanity, the universal values. I mean, Holy places, mosques, especially in holy months like Ramadan, uh, the sanctuary of that is very well uh, enshrined in our human values. Uh, uh, can you imagine if uh, armed soldiers storms a, a synagogue or a church, for that matter, the international reaction, what it would be? Uh, so your question is the right question. What is, what is happening? What is happening here? Why? Israel has been put above the law. Why the Israeli exceptionalism for all these years and decades? I dare suggest so many answers to that, uh, uh, but perhaps one of which is the West duplicity, selectivity, and hypocrisy in comparison to what is happening and, and sir, in Ukraine. And if you fail not, to apply... And if, sir, sir, and it's not just the West, is it? I mean, we, we're seeing now several Arab countries, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, Morocco, to name a few, who've all agreed to normalise diplomatic relations with Israel in recent years. How much of a blow has that been to the Palestinian cause? Well, perhaps it was uh, a serious uh, uh, blow and uh, a gift to Netanyahu. And look what he has done since the signing of these so-called normalization agreements, the Abraham Accords, the level of colonization of the occupied territories has multiplied. The aggression on us everywhere has increased. The uh, uh, provocations in Jerusalem and Al-Aqsa and all that you follow has increased. It's a big gift because Netanyahu lives on the one idea that the Palestinian people do not exist, that the issue of Palestine has vanished, that peace has been struck uh, with these uh, countries, and the Palestinian cause, therefore, simply abracadabra does not exist. Of course, it has damaged us, but look at the people of the Arab world. Don't look only at the regimes. Look at the Saudi people, the Egyptians, the Jordanians, the Algerians, the Moroccans. Look all over you. Look at what happened during the World Cup in Qatar only a few months ago, and that show of real support. The Palestine mm. issue is not just a political issue for the Arab people and the Muslim people and the rest of the uh, freedom-loving people, by the way, here in the UK, in the US, in Europe, everywhere. There are millions who support the Palestinian issue because the Palestinian issue is more than just politics. It is about who we are as humans. It's about the human rights. It's about the universal values. It's about the values of freedom and justice. Okay. And therefore, uh, yes, uh, we, will, we will have to move ahead and build this global movement as the South Africans did when they... And guess what? The more there is aggression and resort to violence, the more we realize, Milene, that we are in the right direction. Talking of looking to the future, what do you think the far-right coalition in Netanyahu's government 
is going to mean for the future of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Madness, absolute madness. I mean, now they're turned against their own uh, people, and it's very unfortunate that the Israelis who demonstrate by the hundreds of the thousands in Israel itself does not make any link with the occupied territories, the oppression of their own government and army against an entire nation that has lasted for 75 years. There is no link, but in fact, the link is all over. In fact, the occupation is the source of what is happening in Israel uh, right now. Simply, they have turned against, against their own people. These uh, ministers, this government, is a government that is pushing us into the religious confrontation, and that is the most dangerous arena. We are hoping that there are enough sane people around us, enough goodwill people around us to stop us before we get to the Armageddon. I have to admit, and before these crazy people okay. in government in Israel right now will take us somewhere that none of us want to see. Hussam Zomlot, Palestinian ambassador to the United Kingdom, I appreciate your time speaking to us there from London.